Hi Taurus, welcome into your general weekly reading. I hope you're doing absolutely amazing out there. Um, let's jump right in and just uh, start shuffling and see what the week has in store for us. I feel like you are very intelligent being drawn to this reading. I don't know why that's being highlighted and spoken about to begin our reading. But the Nine of Cups coming out, what have you asked for? Um, you're about to gain a wish fulfillment throughout this period that feels, I'm hearing enlightening, comforting, and refreshing. You're going to feel as if this is a time for you to begin or continue going through uh, a glow up, okay? You're shining, you're glowing, even in moments of feeling overly serious or maybe a little grumpy or moody. Uh, but I do feel like for the most part, it's meant to be a happy period for you where things are feeling uh, more so cleaned up or the process of things being cleaned up is on the way. Um, look at this, golden glow up, my friend, a golden glow up. You're feeling better than you were in the previous weeks because of maybe a spiritual transition for you, uh, difficulty being removed, uh, maybe because there's a weight off your shoulders in one if not multiple ways, but I wouldn't be surprised if this wish fulfillment is at least partially, if not fully intertwined or connected uh, to your spirituality. But for somebody, I feel like it's as well a week where you are gaining financial support. This could be a loan, it could be approval otherwise, it could be gaining a new position uh, of employment, uh, even if I uh, want to say it was um, or is going to be um, a promotion or a pay raise. But I feel like for somebody, your business is doing well as far as people respecting you, honoring you, uh, and trusting you uh, with their uh, money, okay? Uh, trusting what you have to say or what you do, what you create, develop, um, or assist with. Um, and therefore, you are making that moolah. Let's keep shuffling. You have a lot to say is what I'm hearing. You have a lot to say. It's going to be a well-spoken and busy speaking kind of week. I feel like you're not rushing, but there are fast and very efficient um, uh, accomplishments coming through and coming to be. Um, I did hear compliment, all right, the a very basic word of compliment. I feel like people are thanking you, praising you, complimenting you. You're looking different. You may even feel like you're feeling different, feel like you're feeling. Um, there's going to be a lot of uh, feelings and maybe emotions wrapped up into your week, whether it, I feel like it's not you feeling emotional per se, maybe at certain points, you know, selectively um, or randomly, but I do feel like there's one if not multiple people around you who are going through it, some of which or one person in particular is masking that with feistiness. Um, I do as well feel like you are noticing very clearly, maybe even remembering who and what is not going to be right for you moving forward. This may as well be, you know, a highlighting of um, when you intuitively or just spiritually were pushed or pulled away from uh, a person, a place, a situation, maybe a habit of negativity or toxicity um, or heavy energy. And this is going to make it very, very clear that as you at this point are seeing and feeling things very clearly, you need to be steering clear of and pulling yourself away from uh, or dodging whatever this is representing for you. Now, there are going to be certain moments throughout the week. Uh, this may even be, you know, a fraction of a, a day or two, or it could be a day as, uh, or a couple days, um, you know, combined um, in a row where you're just not feeling it. Okay, you're just not in the mood. And that's life, right? To expect for yourself to be in the mood to you know, work that job or, you know, run your business or connect with that person or, um, you know, maybe, uh, you know, run errands or uh, fulfill obligations otherwise. To expect for yourself to uh, be in the mood to do all of which 24 7 uh, seven days a week unrealistic okay um you're only human is what i'm getting and i feel like this collective for whatever reason at certain points or in general it puts a certain level of expectation on your own shoulders right it's like you expect yourself to be consistent with uh things uh, so consistently that you um are remembering uh, or being reminded you're not an energizer bunny okay everybody needs a break okay i feel like it's a week where you are catching a break okay at least in one significant way if not a couple of different ways and this is going to feel refreshing it's going to feel happy for you um i do sense that you are feeling as if things are beginning again at least in one area of your life even if this is in regards to a continuing situation right um it feels like you know what you're doing and you're doing what you choose to or what you have to very very well okay people are noticing this you're very much noticing yourself doing well at something um 
the nine of swords in reverse because i feel like this is a time for you to be letting go of the bs okay letting go of what has once or could even still stress you out it's this feeling of you uh realizing or remembering i don't have to stress over this job right or this task at hand um or you know maybe fulfilling obligations again otherwise in your world um, or even fulfilling your own wants. I don't have to stress over it. It feels like you might be for some working a job or um, doing a similar kind of, running a similar kind of business in comparison to other people, you know, within that field or whatever, where the other people or one person in particular being highlighted chooses to stress, right? Or maybe just does, you know, occasionally or in general. And in comparison to you, the way you do things, even if it at times does take, you know, checking yourself or, uh, readjusting, realigning your focus. Um, you do things in a less stressful manner, okay? Um, I also feel like in a very simplistic but well thought out way with that uh, Emperor card, you're slowly figuring out what you want, okay? You're investing time and energy at certain points, whether it feels very spiritually guided or not, into um, sparking something of importance for the future. This could be, you know, literally a numerous amount of things. Um, you know, it could be an investment as far as putting money towards something. It could be a new career shift. It could be, you know, a person to date. Um, it could, I feel like for somebody it's a car and maybe a housing situation. But yeah, I feel like you are making up your mind, okay? It's like uh, pinpointed, all right? I know what I want. Or I know what this is gonna look and feel like for me being the right option. Even if, say, it's not a time period for you to figure out exactly or land upon the exact opportunity um, for you specifically, it does feel like you do need to have a clear vision of what's going to be best for you um, and what you want, uh, maybe even what you need. But I do feel as if you are going to be seeing yourself in a different light. I don't know why I'm getting that. It's as if there's significant alone time at certain points throughout the week or the whole week in general for somebody where you now need to take a moment and do, not, I want to say reflecting, but um, examining is the better wording on how you've changed, okay? Maybe on how you're feeling about yourself uh, for somebody, specifically your physical appearance, or maybe even in regards to how you're working through things, how you're, um, yeah, working through things in your individual life. Um, but I do want to tell you that you're doing a really damn good job. You know, I sense that this collective has dealt with, had to cope with even, or uh, dodge or um, uh, minimize certain levels of BS in, in their world to the point where you haven't needed to, right? You shouldn't have had to, but you do what you have to do when you have to do it. Um, there's also kind of a numb to the, the BS kind of vibe about your energy. Uh, being drawn to this reading where you've been through so much and maybe you uh, at times feel like you still do where it's like uh, i just gotta keep moving forward right in spirit saying you not um giving weight and energy to some of the bs in your world is now honor being honored uh with a glow up for you once again i didn't really love that wording um but you're also going to be hearing weird sounds okay i don't know if you can hear that in the background it sounds like a motorbike or something um, but I do feel as if there are times when you're going to be hearing spirit loud and clear throughout the week in regards to um, maybe confirmation, synchronicities otherwise, could be through your thoughts, your dreams. Um, you will find yourself uh, a bit spacey at certain points. Daydreaming is definitely possible throughout the week, um, and some of which may be getting a vision in the midst of which from a spirit or two. Now, I feel as if there is... A lot of spiritual assistance throughout this time period for you where uh, there are many spirits that are part of your team of guides your angels and otherwise right you know i'm hearing extra spirits random ones even ones that are returning that have been a part of your world before rewinding back a lot of which doing things for you in your favor at a distance and up close wow i was just hearing what sounded like a bee in my ear um yeah, it does feel like things are feeling very spiritually connected for you throughout this week. Um, and that may be a little bit off-putting or just confusing or just, yeah, sensations coming to be even. Um, little pokes and uh, itches and maybe a twitch here and there. But um, I don't feel like it's anything to be concerned about. I just feel like a spirit or two is bored. 
Um, the strength card coming to be because it's a time period for you where you're shining in the midst of um, being a very, very strong individual. But you're also going to find that the spirit wants to highlight when you feel the need to put up a facade. Okay, this could be at work, right? Trying not to have everybody know what you're up to or what you have been going through or are. Um, and as well, maybe in regards to protecting your energy or just not giving away all of the cards or the cards in general that you're holding close to your chest. Interesting. Um, you will find that in a very changing kind of way, you're releasing. Okay, you're being very discerning, uh, selective, and you're finding this is leaving you with victory. Okay, timing is also on your side, Taurus. It, moments throughout the week where you decide for whatever reason to change plans and not go hang out with that friend or not go to that store. Um, or you decide to leave home a bit earlier to get to work or whatever the case may be. Or you randomly feel guided to go to the park or something of the sort, the beach for somebody. Anyways, the point is timing is on your side and you're going to end up where you're, you're meant to be, very strategically, very guided by spirit once again. You're going to feel very intuitive this week. I feel like your week is highlighting the fact that you and your world is changing dramatically absolutely beautiful so if this is truly helpful don't forget to book a personal reading with myself everything lies down below in the description box just shoot me a quick email i hope you have the most amazing week taurus